this lecture we are again going to talk about a real time application which i have developed on code.org in the app lab using the basic features available in that lab so this is the first screen the user is going to come across when he will access the app on his mobile phone or on his device fine now currently i am accessing this app on five different devices or you can say five different browsers fine now each of these browsers you have to assume as if they are uh, you know different devices on which i'm accessing this beautiful app now, with this app a person can broadcast his message in the form of speech to the different people now how he can do that that's what i would like to show you first so for doing that first thing we are going to do is we are going to create five different profiles on uh, these five different devices which i just showed you okay so this one is the first device on which i'm going to create the first profile so let's select a photograph from the desktop i'm going to choose this one for now and let's uh, write down a name over here so i am making use of sushant this name and then sushant this is the id with which i am registering sushant's profile and sushant 123 is a password i'm giving hi sushant your profile has been successfully profile. created okay so the profile has got successfully created and as you can see we have got automatically redirected on this login window now here i am going to write down sushant's email address sushant at the rate gmail.com and here i am going to write down the password with which i created as profile so this is the one let's write the if suppose um, let's enter an incorrect password and see whether i'll be able to log in into the app or not invalid credentials entered by you so it is in an error which is getting reflected over here let's enter the right credentials Welcome okay. false we are done with setting up your dashboard. Okay, thank you, you very much. You may now use it. So this is Sushant's panel which he got he can make use of for uh, you know broadcasting a message. Now uh, let's come on this second device and create another profile. You may now use it. Okay, so as you can see Nevi's uh, dashboard is here on the second device. Let's now come on this third device and create third profile welcome false we are done with setting up your dashboard so we are done you may with, now use it so we are done with uh, creating three different profiles on this platform let's now come on this fourth browser and create the fourth required profile welcome false we are done with setting up your dashboard okay so we are done you with you may now use it creating the fourth profile also let's now come on this fifth browser and quickly create the fifth profile welcome false we are done with setting up your dashboard okay so we you are now use it we are done with creating five different profiles on this platform so this is sushant's dashboard this one is abhas abhas dashboard this one is shyam's dashboard uh this one is nevi's dashboard she'll be using for broadcasting the message then this one is mickey's dashboard fine let's now come on this sushant's dashboard first and here when you'll hit this first drop down which is uh right there on the top so what is going to happen let's check it out to see the ids of all the people who have registered their profiles on this platform so uh, right now we uh, there are four ids which are getting reflected over here just because besides shusha sushant there are four other people who have registered their profiles with these ids right now let's select uh, two of these four ids and see what is going to happen so when you will uh, hit this abhay's id automatically you will get to see it 
over here when you will hit this drop down. So see Abhay's ID has got added into this drop down. Likewise if suppose Sushant would like to uh, add Mickey's ID also. So he just have to hit this ID of Mickey and automatically when he will hit this drop down over here he will be able to see both the IDs getting reflected in this second drop down. Fine so that's how he can add the IDs of the people he would like to broadcast a message to. Okay now let's come on this part how he can broadcast a message to these two people. So what he can do, he can write down uh, the required message he would like to broadcast over here in this input box. Meeting. Okay, suppose this is a message he would like to send to these two IDs. So what he can do, he can hit this button over here. So this is a uh, GIF animated button which I've defined on this beautiful screen. When he'll hit this button, let's see what is going to happen. You just received a message from Sashant at gmail.com. Okay. So as you can see, Nevi hasn't received any message. But uh, a message is getting reflected on this uh, Mickey's ID, on this Mickey's panel. So this message is getting reflected only on two panels, which is Abhay's panel and Mickey's panel. Okay, so the other two, the other people haven't received the message sent by Sushant. Okay, broadcasted by Sushant. Fine, now how Abhay can read the message sent by Sushant? So what he has to do, he just have to hit this message, uh, this letter kind of thing which is getting reflected over here on his panel. Hi all, how are you? So this is how is the meat and egg? So this is how they both can uh, check out the message sent by Sushan. Now let's see whether we have received the messages on the dashboard of the other two profiles or not. So if you'll come on this Shyam's dashboard, so he hasn't received any message. And then if you'll come on this Nevi's dashboard here also no message is getting reflected. Now let's come on this Nevi's panel and let's hit this first drop down. So as you can see, you may select all the IDs from this drop down to whom you would like to send the message. Okay, so this has got updated with the IDs of all the other uh, four profiles which we just created. Fine. Now let's come on this second drop down. And let's hit this drop down and see what is going to happen. So all the IDs which we just selected are getting reflected over here in this second drop down. Now let's uh, you know send a message to all three of them in one go. So how can we do that? We just have to write down the message over here. Hi, there is a meeting at 5 p.m. Okay. Let's now send this message to all these three IDs and besides we would also like to see whether Sushant will receive the message or not because you know this Nevi hasn't selected Sushant's ID from this drop down. So in order to check whether the code which I have defined is it working fine or not so we are going to see whether we'll receive any kind of uh, notification here on Sushant's panel or not. Let's hit this send button first. So here I go. Message have been you just successfully received a message sent to all the people at gmail.com. You just from NIVI at gmail.com. You just received a message from NIVI at gmail.com. So all the other participants are going to uh, receive a notification of this message the way you just heard. Fine. Let's now come on, as you can see, Sushant hasn't received any notification on his device, right? Let's now come on this Shams panel and let's hit this uh, letter over here, letter kind of thing over here, which is getting reflected. 
and see whether we'll be able to hear that message sent by Nevi in the form of speech or not. Hi everyone. There is a meeting at 5 p.m. Okay, so this one is perfectly working. Fine. Let's now come on this Abbas panel and hit this letter kind of thing. Speech, let's hit this uh, letter which is getting reflected on Mickey's panel and see whether we'll be able to hear the message in the form of speech or not. Hi everyone. There is a meeting at 5 p.m. Okay, so everything is working properly. Okay, let's now make use of this Abhay's panel and hit this drop down one. So as you can see, all the IDs are getting reflected over here. Let's uh, choose this Nevi's ID. And if suppose Abhay would like to reply to Nevi for the message he just received. So he can do it like this. So now, uh, you know, only Nevi's ID is going to get reflected over here in this drop down because so Abhay has selected only Nevi's ID. Let's write down a message over here for Nevi. Okay, so I will be there at five sharp. Let's set this send button. So as you can see, Nevi has received a message from Abhay and his ID is also getting reflected over here. Right, let's hit this message and let's see whether we'll be able to hear that message sent by Abhay in the speech form or not. Hi Nivi. I am fine. I will be there at 5 o'clock sharp. Okay, so you know that's how this app works. Now let me show you guys the code which I have defined in the workspace on Go.org for making this beautiful app. Uh, so this is uh, the first screen the user is going to come across. Find this sign up screen. Okay, now here, once the user is done with uh, mentioning all the three required things, he can hit this sign up button and his profile is automatically going to get created. So this is the code which will get executed when the user will hit this sign up button. Fine. So this table with name users is going to get created on the data browser. Now when he, he'll come on this screen 2 which is login screen. This is a code which is going to get executed when he will hit this login button. I have defined right in the bottom of this screen. Okay, and the records are going to get pulled up from this user's named table and uh, you know, password will be matched whether the password the user has entered here, is it matching with the one with which he created his profile or not. If the password matches, then this is the code which is going to get executed. Otherwise, uh, invalid credentials, you know, this is the error which the user is going to see on this screen. Now let's come on this dashboard. So once the user is done with signing into this app, he's going to come on this beautiful screen where he'll get to see his profile pic over here and his name is going to get reflected over here with which he created his profile. Okay. Now, uh, when he will hit this first drop down, this is the code which is going to get executed. So all the IDs of all the other people are going to get pulled up from the table named users and all the IDs he will be able to see in this first drop down. Okay, now uh, whatever ID he will select, automatically it will get appended in a list or you can see a collection type of variable. And then when he will hit this drop down one, he will be able to pull all the items which he has appended in this uh, list two, which I just uh, showed you guys. And all the IDs are going to get reflected over here in this drop down one. Fine. Now, uh, what is going to happen when the user will hit this exist button where is this exist button that's what I would like to show you first so you know uh, there are two buttons which I have defined over here one on this one 
on this login screen and the second one on this sign up screen so if he if his if he is an existing user so he can hit this button and he is going to get redirected on this screen too if the user is new on this platform and he would like to create his uh, you know profile on this platform so he can hit this button and this is a code which is going to get executed okay let's now come on this code which i have defined for this send button which you are uh, seeing over here so a, a table with id message is going to get created where all the information the message the receiver's name and the sender's name is going to get saved fine and finally this is the code which is going to get executed automatically in real time and uh, the other participants whom the sender will the ids of which the sender is going to select from this first drop down they are going to see the changes happening on their respective dashboard in real time fine so they will be receiving this message kind of thing and when they will tap on this message on this letter kind of image this is a code which is going to get executed so the message is going to get pulled up from this uh, table named message and it will get converted into the form of speech with the uh, uh, through with the help of this uh, play speech block i've defined over here and finally the user will be able to hear that message in the form of speech so you know that's how i have created this beautiful beautiful app hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot do like and subscribe to my channel and also do join the online coding classes which i am providing you guys in just a piece 500 in case you want to know something extra if you want to understand the coding of this javascript based platform thank you very much god bless you all have a great day bye bye